In the name of God, the most gracious, the most merciful, praise be to Allah, God Almighty, Lord and Cherisher of the world, and may God send His peace and blessings upon Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and those who rightly follow him until the Day of Judgment, Amen. God Almighty says in the Holy Quran in chapter 2, verse 154, He says, And do not say about those who are killed in the way of God that they are dead. Nay, they are alive, but you perceive not. It's not up to us to decide who's a martyr and who's not a martyr. Only God knows. Islamically, a martyr is not any person, Muslim, who dies uh, in war, no. Only if that Muslim died defending Islam for the sake of God and for the sake of God only. So many Muslims are fight in war, but are they fighting for the sake of God and for the sake of God only? Are they fighting to defend justice and to defend the banner of Islam? Or are they fighting for chivalry, for notor notoriety, for praise, for attention? So there's a big difference. So we are not to say that we know what's in people's heart. We, we judge on what is outward and not on what is inward. So it's not up to us to discern what's inside a person's heart. Only God knows that. But on the outward appearance is what we judge. Regarding who is this and who is that, only God knows. Our job is only to understand that these people who die, only God knows who's a martyr and who isn't. But if they died as a martyr, then okay then. If God says they're not dead, that means they're alive. Now you say, how is that possible? These are the words of God. God says, do not say about those who are slain in the way of God. They are dead, nay, they are alive, but you perceive not. So the martyr in Islam gets seven rewards from God. He gets seven rewards from God, the martyr. What is the first one? He feels death like the sting of a mosquito. Imagine that. Imagine death feeling like the sting of a mosquito and that's it. Number two, he sees his place in heaven right before his soul is departed. Number three, he goes straight to heaven right away. That's number three. Number four, um, he's going to be crowned with 72 beautiful women of heaven. Number five, uh, he gets to intercede for like 70 or 72 people of his family members, his relatives. He gets to intercede for them and bring them to heaven. Number six, God uh, gives him special treatment on the day of judgment. And number seven, he gets a uh, number seven. He gets uh, crowns of light on his head on the day of judgment. And the blood coming out of his body is going to be emanating of the of, of a beautiful fragrance. So he gets special treatment. So who who is this that gets special treatment? The martyr. To kill someone in cold blood for the sake of God, that's not martyrdom. But, for example, your land is being attacked and you fight back in self-defense as a Muslim to defend the banner of Islam and you happen to die in the process, that's martyrdom. But to kill someone in cold blood, that's not martyrdom. That's terrorism. To learn more about Islam, go to Ahmad Jibreel. Ahmad Jibreel. A H M A D J I B R I L. I think he's the most up to date scholar for someone to follow. Click his name on YouTube and on Twitter and on Facebook and subscribe to his accounts. He's a very good Muslim scholar. And if you don't watch his lectures, you, you won't know what you're, you, you'll be missing out. And when you watch his lectures, watch a few of them, then you'll fall in love with the guy. He has a good uh, style of speaking. Thank you and have a nice day.